Oh, hey. Here's John. Hey, John. Hey, Jim. How are you? Well, fine, thanks. How are you? <laughs> Busy with this UFO oh, stuff. Oh, my God. Did you see it hit the Fox crawl uh, Monday night? Did it? It's just yes. been everywhere. I mean, I've been on CNN. Um, I did my fourth appearance today. Really? Uh, every MSNBC, every network. Oh, my goodness. And just worldwide. I mean, yeah. uh, Australia, everywhere. <laughs> That's what we're going to start off, I'm going to say. And John, the response has been, well, out of this world, hasn't it? <laughs> Congratulations. That's, so where is the latest on the investigation in the FAA, then? Well, uh, is, is it by this time tomorrow, going to prove it. Yeah, U Uni United is now acknowledging that they were approached by employees. Mm -hmm. So they've done that okay. flip-flop. And mm -hmm. I'm trying to locate photos of this. I'm told there may be oh, photos. really? Wow. That would be cool. <coughs> um, I'm told that the uh, the story on on CT right has almost a million hits. Yeah, it's it's the most read story in the history of CT.com. You're kidding me? No, I got an email yesterday from uh, Bill Adi. Wow. I mean, it's like yeah, in the entire history of the website. Oh, incredible. So. Incredible. So, is the possible? Does it possibly exist? You might get the pictures and get them in for tomorrow. Or oh no, I, I don't. Th no, 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 no. I mean, mm -hmm. I, I, I'm told the pilots on that plane that was being pushed back. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, I said in the story that they opened the windscreen and stuck their head out. Now I'm being told that one of them had a digital camera and snapped some pictures. Wow. So United is not playing ball with me and. Uh, FAA, I've expanded my FOIA to include the flight plan, which might include the pilots' names. And I'm trying to work with the union as well. Are they still going by weather phenomenon? Uh, FAA, you know, pretty much because of the federal holiday, I, mm -hmm. uh, I haven't talked to them that much. But yeah, they're, they're, they haven't changed their story. Mm -hmm. And it's, I've just they heard, are, heard yeah. from other people, you know, since then that, you know, that, that's, that explanation just doesn't wash. And they haven't gone out of their way to, to say anything otherwise so far? No, I mean, they say, you know, it was, it was November 7th, they're, they're moving on. They're just doing their daily thing. Well, I tell you what, the uh, all the people who saw it must be feeling a little validated right about now, huh? Oh yeah, and I'm getting tons of emails from other people who outside the airport as well as at O'Hare really? who also either sighted that same object or saw the hole in the sky and said, "What is that?" Wow. Okay, so what did it look like again to the folks who saw it? It was a saucer-like object yeah, it was hovering over, over the United Terminal, right? Yeah, right over, directly over gate C-17. Mm -hmm. and it was stationary in the sky, uh, dark gray metallic, uh, you know, like I say, saucer-shaped, mm -hmm. no lights, and it was there for some minutes. And then when it uh, disappeared, it just streaked through the clouds with such energy that it broke a, a big a blue hole in the overcast, and the hole wow. remained there for several minutes until the wind... Uh, drifted and pushed the clouds back together. So the blue was the sky. Yeah, the blue was wow. the sky, but but otherwise the the entire skyline was uh was cloudy. Totally overcast, huh? Man. So you totally know, it's nothing an airplane just doesn't react like that. It does mm. it slices mm. through and it doesn't disturb the atmosphere. Hmm. Do you have any other interviews set up after this, John? Yeah, I'm going back on uh, a radio station, a couple of radio stations this afternoon, and then uh, Headline News uh, has a show I'm doing at 3 o'clock. Okay. Ooh, I'll have to watch if I'm... Yeah, I'll be off the set yeah. by then. Um, okay, Australia, what, what other international... Oh my God! I mean, I mean, all over Europe. Oh my gosh! Um, you know, hearing from people, you know, Ireland. They say, you know, we, we heard about what's happening at O'Hara. Ah, <laughs> I mean, Butch O'Hara. <laughs> I mean, just as well wow. as serious, you know, uh, researchers at major U.S. universities who've attempted to do their own investigations, and when they go to the government to try to get information, uh, they get stonewalled. So there really is this universal feeling that the government knows a lot more than it's willing to tell. Man, okay. Okay. I'm just going to say... <laughs> you know, yeah, I said, uh, okay, here we go. But, 
Yeah. I am so, it, I think it's so cool that I was the first one to get to talk to you about it. <laughs> That's right, last <laughs> Friday. <laughs> Yay. Okay. The UFO hair story the Chicago Tribune exclusively broke on New Year's Day is garnering attention around the world. Joining us now to talk about it once again is Tribune transportation writer John Hilkovich, who wrote the story. And John, the response has been, well, out of this world, hasn't it? Yes, it has been astronomical, Jim. Uh, every major country, it seems, people have written in, uh, both those who claim they've uh, spotted UFOs during their life, as well as serious researchers. I mean, just the last two days, this oh. is my email. And these are the serious emails, uh, you know, the ones from kooks who said they were brought aboard alien spacecraft I put in a circular file. So it's wow. just a story that has legs, and people are fascinated by the thought, and I think there's some belief that there are advanced life forms that are visiting us here on a regular basis. You've been contacted now in the last few days by several countries, but that also includes serious university researchers here in the U.S. You know, I've got to tell you, too, I got a call from my dad in California Monday night, and he's like, what is up with the O'Hare UFO story? I'm like, where did you see that? Where did you read that? Well, it was on Fox Network's crawl. Mm -hmm. at the bottom. It's just amazing how much this is garnering. Yeah, it really is. And uh, worldwide uh, attention, as you say, and uh, from people who have observed, made observations themselves, including on November 7th, the date of this incident, uh, mm -hmm. uh, additional people, both at O'Hare and outside the airport, who have either seen this gray, disc-shaped metallic object themselves, mm -hmm. or they saw that huge hole in the sky that, that the object created when it vanished. Let's go over that one more time. What did people see when it all of a sudden vanished right through the, the clouds over the United Terminal. And then how's the FAA been reacting uh, the past few days, too? Any, any new ground on that? Okay. Well, the object was hovering in a stationary position about 1,500 feet above the United Terminal for some minutes. And then when it left, it just burst through this uh, thick cloud layer, uh, creating a, a large open space of, of blue sky on an otherwise overcast day. Uh, it took some minutes for that uh, opening to close up when the clouds drifted back together. And it's just extremely unusual, according to the witnesses. I mean, airplanes just don't react like this. They slice through clouds, and they really don't disturb the atmosphere that much, except for the wingtips and such. Mm -hmm. uh, the FAA is still, uh, you know, pinning this to a, uh, a, some kind of weather phenomenon, that some lights from the airport and the overcast sky somehow got together and created this image. But uh, weather experts, uh, ast astronomy experts, others that I've talked to said that that's, uh, that's bunk. Uh, <laughs> a, that's, that explanation just doesn't wash. United, on the other hand, uh, if, after first denying that they got any reports from employees about this sighting, is now saying, uh, yes, indeed, their employees did approach them immediately because mm -hmm. of concerns about safety. And to reiterate, John, the witnesses who originally came to you are all seasoned professional, credible professionals like pilots who saw this. They're this pilots, thing. they're senior managers, they're mechanics and, and others. So, uh, you know, they are, they are very truthful <laughs> about what they're saying, and we're trying to locate photographs if they do exist of this incident. Well, John, we know you have plenty of other interviews to do today with other countries, so we'll let you go and we'll keep our eyes to the sky. Thanks. Thank you, Jim. Uh, this is just incredible. It's, isn't it amazing what, what really garners people's... Yeah. For, for various reasons, I suppose, you know. Yeah. How cool. Yeah, no, it's... I can't wait to see in a week where this stands, you know? Yeah. I'm just amazed I'm still getting requests for interviews because... Uh, yeah. Okay, we got here. Cool. Okay, Thanks, John. Thanks, Jim. Okay. We would have landed, but... Uh